Charles Sanders Pierce was born on September 10, 1839, and died on April 19, 1914, at age 74. His parents were Sarah Hunt Mills and Benjamin Pierce. Benjamin Pierce was a scientist and a professor of mathematics at Harvard. He was also the first serious research mathematician. Pierce was known as the father of pragmatism. He was a logician, a philosopher, and a scientist. He became fascinated with logic at the age of 12. In 1855, he began his studies at Harvard. He believed in the scientific method, and at Harvard, he started a lifelong friendship with the philosopher and psychologist William James, who greatly supported him for most of his life. Some of his major works are Upon the Logic of Mathematics, Upon Logical Comprehension and Extension, The New Elements of Mathematics, Reasoning and the Logic of Things, Pragmatism as a Principle and Method of Right Thinking. Charles Pierce's philosophy is pragmatism, and pragmatism is that for any statement to be meaningful, it must have practical bearings. First you infer, then you experience things, making decisions based on facts, not just ideals. Um, pragmatists are allowed to change their mind, but they can only change their mind when they gain insight and knowledge on something. And idealists must always stick with their own original opinion. My primary source was found in the book Charles S. Pierce, Selected Writings, Value in a Universe of Chance, on page 144. When a man is about to build a house, what a power of thinking he has to do before he can safely break ground. With what pains he has to excogitate the precise wants that are to be supplied. What a study to ascertain the most available and suitable materials to determine the mode of construction to which those materials are best adapted, and to answer a hundred such questions. Now, without riding the metaphor too far, I think we may safely say that the studies preliminary to the construction of a great theory should be at least as deliberate and thorough as those that are preliminary to the building of a dwelling house. So now I'm going to break down the primary source. In the beginning of this paragraph, it's just talking about comparing the building of a house to Pierce's idea of pragmatism. So in the first sentence, when a man is about to build a house, what a power of thinking he has to do before he can safely break ground. That's just saying that literally when you are building a house, you need to have plans for it before you go and actually break ground to start building the house. You need to have plans for it ahead of time and blueprints and ideas of what you're going to do before that. With what pains he has to excogitate, and excogitate just means to think out and plan, so with what pains he has to excogitate the precise wants that are to be supplied, um, that's just saying that you need to plan out everything and everything has to be precise so that it all turns out right. What a study to ascertain, and ascertain means to make sure of, um, the most available and suitable materials to determine the mode of construction to which those materials are best adapted, and to answer a hundred such questions. Um, that just means to make sure that you have all the materials that you need, um, that you know the way that you're going to construct everything, and that you've already answered all the questions that could end up coming up later on. So you've already prepared for everything, and... Yeah, that goes back to the idea of pragmatism. Now, without writing this metaphor too far, so now we're actually getting into the idea of pragmatism, I think we may safely say that the studies preliminary, so the studies that are done in preparation to the construction of a great theory, should be at least as deliberate and thorough as those that are preliminary to the building of a dwelling house. And that's just saying that with the comparison of building a house and preparing to actually build a house, that is the same as pragmatism for everyday life and just coming up with great theories that you need to have everything done in preparation and that first you infer and then you experience things and you make decisions based on facts not just ideas as you saw in my physical demonstration I was trying to build a house but before I knew where to put the piece of wood, I had to look at my blueprints. Just like pragmatism, everything is planned out before and everything has a reason. There's a logic behind every decision that you make and it's all planned out ahead of time, which is what I was doing in the video, checking my blueprints that were planned ahead of time before I was going to actually build the house. Okay, now going over pragmatism one more time. Pragmatism is, for any statement to be meaningful, it must have practical bearings. You have to first infer things, and then you experience them after. 
Um, pragmatism is all about facts and logic. You make decisions based on facts, not just ideas. There has to be logic behind all the decisions that you make. Pragmatists are allowed to change their mind when they gain insight and knowledge, and idealists must always stick with their original opinion.